Hello there Malaysia, this is Jericho here and this is a Wait a Minute production. Today is the 13th of February 2014, it's a Saturday and it's almost 6pm. It's going to rain in PJ, it's Langmo, so let's get on cracking. In front of you is a girl's face looking very nice indeed. Very, very nice. So, uh, yep, uh, this video is about one particular song and that song is called Squall. Squall. And you can see here is uh, people working in this uh, pumpkin, uh, pumpkin packing facility. So let's see what else can be found there. Hmm. La 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 la. Oops. Da 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 da. Auckland. Hmm. These uh, photos are, uh, are like th two or three years old, so fuck, you know, there's a lot of photos when I was in New Zealand. A lot of them. Oh my god. There's so many that it's just, just fucking incredible. Yeah, there's my friend Felix, first of all. It's way too many. I don't need actually go back and take a looky looky. No. No, not really. Mm, this one is it? This is the birthday party of a, a girl by the name of Maxi Wisterberg from Germany. So let's get on cracking. So let's see here. Uh, this is uh, New Zealand. Uh, Tau no, no, Tauranga, yeah, Tauranga, New Zealand. So uh, this video is something to do with Masaharu Fukuyama as well. And I do not know uh, what, why is he doing here. Uh, but he did a version of uh, this song called Squall. Not sure whether he's the original singer or not. No idea at all. So, yep. So, what's the meaning of Squall? Squall is a... Let's take a look. I think it's something to do with, with wind. A sudden violent gust of wind or a localized storm. One bringing rain, snow or sleet. So, that's the meaning of Squall. And Squall, the song, uh, was uh, one of the main themes for this J-drama, which is called Perfect Love. Perfect Love, ah, this one is, uh, this is uh, Maxi Wusterberg, very, very cute girl, very cute girl indeed. And this is her good friend, very good friend, uh, Sabrina Schmidt. Both of them are very beautiful. Sabrina Smith and uh, Maxi Wusterberg. Very beautiful girls. From Germany. Okay, that's the end. So what's next? Uh, God, there are so many videos. What to do? Well, let's see whichever is nice. So this uh this this uh, J drama perfect love, I don't think I remember actually watching it at all. Uh, no, I have no idea. It's quite a old drama. I think it's uh, starring uh, the guy as well, Masaharu Fukuyama here. So uh, this is the vi the cover for this this uh, perfect love, and uh, you can see him here, Fukuyama. And this perfect love is uh, the the songs uh, that is uh, featured in Perfect Love is Koko Dewa Nai Doko E that's by Glee and also the song Squall by Matsumoto Eiko which uh, you have seen this one this is her and this is Peter Nickel from Germany as well. So yep, and uh, the actors and actresses in this uh, drama is of course Fukuyama Masaharu himself 
and Kimura Yoshino. So who is Kimura Yoshino? <coughs> Kimura Yoshino is a uh, girl who looks not bad, very very be quite beautiful, not bad. But uh, according to her J drama list, uh, not many uh, J dramas that are that popular, if I'm not mistaken, uh, don't see her much at all. So what does she actually look like? So this is what she looks like when she's a bit older. So and uh, that's these are some of the pictures of Yoshino Kimura, and this is what she used to look like, very beautiful indeed. But now she looks like this one, but uh, still very very pretty. So one of the songs that uh, was featured in this uh, Perfect Love is called Koko de wa nai doko ka e. That's uh, by the the group called Glay, and this is a it's not a, not a bad song. So I'm gonna leave it in the in the link below so you can uh, enjoy if you want to and this is mexican uh, what's his name forgot so this is glay glay is uh these are glay they are glay four people looking like punk rock but this is the main singer and this is one of the covers of the album so who is gay G uh, sorry who is glay glay is uh japanese pop rock band from Hakodate Hokkaido blah 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 so next one of the songs that is uh, quite popular from Glay is called Be With You so I'm gonna leave a link as well one of them is the PV or penis vagina or promotional video or music video this is a song that I really like and I've listened to it quite a number of times already so enjoy this one please and this is the concert version of it so Glay how did how did they come up with this name Glay? Actually, they wanted to call it grey, as in the color, but uh, uh, they spelled it wrongly and it became Glay. But thank God for that. So there is a story about uh, the Japanese people uh, aren't able to actually pronounce their their L's because uh, they substitute the L's with the R's. So I don't know why it's a genetic thing. I'm not sure. So this there is this funny funny story about me uh, involving this uh, this thing this L's and R's so there's this uh, very cute girl in uh, I think it was in Napier that I met her I think yeah in Nap Napier so I was like uh, going out with her not in the sense of dating but just go on going out with her she wanted to like uh, find her her mother's uh, place of uh, staying in New Zealand, she's from Japan. Okay, uh, this girl forgot what's her name. She's a dancer. She she's a dancer, so uh, she wanted to find out uh, where her mother stayed and wanted to take a picture of her of that place that her mother used to stay in New Zealand. So I accomp accompanied her and helped her to go and uh, get the p uh, get find the place in Napier. So a uh, couple hours with her, I took some pictures of her, and uh, at last uh, there was uh, some conflict because uh, we were talking, 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 and suddenly she said something about uh, something we were discussing some some stuff and she kept on saying a rap top a rap top a rap top and i was confused what the hell is she talking about then suddenly i said oh you mean it's laptop uh then i i elaborated further uh i should have kept my mouth shut but i told her that oh the japanese people uh, it's hard for them to actually pronounce their l so you pronounce rap top and she was so pissed she was so fucking angry and that's the end of it finish oh god she was so angry because I commented on the Japanese uh, people's inability to pronounce their L's and substitute it with an R. So just terrible time, actually. Uh, she was uh, quite a cute girl. Unfortunately, it was uh, the re the relationship was uh, hampered by the pronunciations of of uh, of races, the an inability to pronounce the L. Unfortunately, so I'm not trying to be racist here, but who gives a shit? So, I um, wonder where's the picture? Hmm, I, I think I need. Aha, I found some uh, pictures of her. Uh, let's see here. Mm, this one here. Uh, that's her in pink. Very beautiful, Napier. Very beautiful indeed. Very cute girl. Very, very cute girl. Shorter than I, that's the most important thing. So I'm uh, stalking her by like taking pictures of her. Oh shit. Okay. 
いにしますと。So that's what he looks like. Oh, pronunciation is terrible. So、uh, let's see here. What else am I going to show you? Unfortunately, let's see. Let's see. Who else am I going to offend today? Let's see. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, this is in Malaysia. New Zealand、um, has not much of the stuff. Let's see this one here. Yes, I did a lot of,、uh, of videos when I was in New Zealand. Unfortunately, I cannot show all of them. They are not that good of a quality. It's not 1080p, it's more like the VGA, VGA thingy.、Mm, give me a long one, please. Not this one. Ah, this is another Japanese girl which uh, uh, I was fond of. Unfortunately, well, it went sour and she ended up、uh, slapping me, unfortunately. Uh, during one、uh, nightclub、uh, thing, I was like sitting down and suddenly she came about and slapped me. I think she slap, slapped me twice. Twice. I'm not gonna like go into the specifics of why she slapped me because that's a very, very long story. Very long story indeed. And that's a braid that I made. So on your right is a cute.、Uh, cute Uh, Maxi Wusterberg and this is Sabrina Smith. All of them are mostly Germans. Okay, all of them are Germans. So,、uh, as you know, that、uh, based on these,、uh, Maxi Wusterberg and also Sabrina Smith, that I concluded that the German race,、uh, the girls specifically, they are super, super pretty. Very, very beautiful. Very, very beautiful indeed. So, yep. <laughs> so, let's see. Actually, fuck it. I'm gonna like play all of them. Be easier on me, right? So let's get on cracking. So fuck. So the the they're supposed to like like be named gray, the color gray, but、uh, they end up as gay, and there's nothing to do with gay. So they are not gay. Four guys in a group, not not gay at all, and I'm. When I say gay, I do not mean like say the homosexual、uh, preferences, but、uh, gay as in happy. Uh -huh. So, who is、uh, Machu Moto Aiko, the singer? She is、uh, not going to read this, please, because this is just translated, so there's a lot of broken English in it. And this is what she looks like. Very, very beautiful indeed. This is、uh, where we live in this、um, Tauranga. Eight guys in a room. We call it the gay dorm because all are guys. So terrible. Terrible indeed. So this is、uh, Machu Moto or whatever. Very beautiful.、Uh, she's older here and thank God she looks quite,、uh, quite pretty for her age. I don't know whether this is her or not because the shape of her face is a bit different. Very, very too like Barbie like. So, or too anime like maybe this is not her, who knows? So, what's the song that this、uh, Matsumoto Eiko has done, which has really touched me in many places more than one? It is called Squall. And this Squall is the, the version that was played in that,、uh, perf in that uh, perfect love J drama. It is full of emotion and I really, really like it. So, this song here, <coughs> this, squ this song here,、uh, Squall by her. She sang it, and the, the, her voice is very, very nice. And the melody of this song is just so nice. I, you just have to experience it for yourself. It's great shit. So, what does it mean, this one here? So, Artrix is Machumoto Aiko, and it's called Squall. And it's、uh, by Fukuyama Masaharu, the guy、uh, earlier, and music by Fukuyama Masaharu. So,、uh, safe to say that Fukuyama Masaharu is the guy who. Who did the song or made the song? And、uh, Matsumoto Aiko, the beautiful girl here,、uh, sang it and、uh, sang it、uh, well. She did very, very well. I think I prefer the, the Matsumoto Aiko version compared to the original version by Fukuyama Masaharu. So, what does it mean? It means the passing rain just let up the sky so pretty it seems unreal. 
Because you smile like that before I know it, I feel so happy. Your shirt a little big, I squeeze onto the sleeves, I put my arms through. And now, I'm in love tragically so I can't hide this pain any longer. I want to be with you longer. I want it to be us. I wish my summer wish would come true. I search only for you, the bathing droplets on the iced tea, the Polaroids we took too many of. Because we had such good times, my walk home was so lonely. The train platform colored in the setting sun, you draw away, waving as you go. I'm in love painfully so, I can no longer hide this racing heart of mine. I always dreamed we would meet, I want you to understand my summer's wish. And I touch the rain, so I need your love. I am in love, I have fallen in love. I can no longer hide this racing heart of mine. At last we met, I dreamed of it. My summer's wish always in dreams. I search only for you. So thank you, translation uh, translators Brian Stewart and Takako Sakuma for a uh, good translation. It's not broken the broken English. Sakima de no tori amaga e uso mitai ni irei na sora o bla 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 bla. So na funi hoho e mukara itsu no mani ka ureshiku naru yo choto oki na anata no sachu to shita so de wo tsuman de mitama ima watashi koi wo shite hiru kanashi kurai Mokoku senai kono setsu na saha moto isho ni itai o futari de itai. I'm not gonna sing anymore because it's terrible. I never sang it before using all these hiragana. So let's uh, get on tracking. So this one here, this video, of course, I'm gonna leave in the link. There's the translation and also the hiragana, just in case you want to like sing it because this is one song that you will love to sing. Because it's very good stuff. So besides uh, that squall, Eiko Matsumoto also did some other songs, Naturally Yours. This is pretty good. I've listened it for uh, only today and I've fallen, I mean not fallen in love with it. With it. It's just very good. Uh, the video here provided the, by Hoin Daval is not so good. Uh, so your best bet is MP3, which is this one here. And other songs by her is this one here. And also this one here, someone. And uh, lots and lots of it's flowers as well. So you do check it out, all of them, because the, the music is just nice. It's just nice. So you just listen to it. And uh, she is a very beautiful girl, and she has short hair here. Very, very pretty. Very, very pretty indeed. So I, I never knew who she uh, was before. So her voice and also her music, which is easy to listen to, it reminds me of another artist by the name of Takako Matsu here, who stars with Takuya Kimura in this Love Generation drama, which you should watch. Definitely, very, you must watch this one. So Takako Matsu, not only is she cute looking and uh, has uh, starred in a couple of great J-dramas, she is also a songstress, a very, very accomplished songstress. She uh, sang a couple of the songs that I really, really like, such as, uh, such as, such as, uh, such as, all in Japanese, so fuck it, I'm not sure. So if you want to know what songs uh, she has done, which is excellent, all you have to do is go into my uh, channel and uh, just look up the name Matsu Takako. Okay, just wait for it. And uh, ah, it's done already. It's okay, I can like upload Fugal the Fahid now. Fun animation Attack on Titans because the money has come and I can download it. So Matsu Takako. So this is a uh, this one is a. Uh, Felix Furkow. <laughs> Saki Saki ten dollar, what the fuck? Oh, 
What the fuck am I doing, okay? I'm not sure. What the fuck is happening? I'm not, I don't remember this. Oh, this is a Japanese girl, is it? Like her birthday. No, Misaki Saki, what the fuck? <laughs> what is this motherfucker? <laughs> this is a joke uh, between us uh, calling a girl ja Saki Saki $10. I guess her name is Saki, right? Okay. So the name of the the girl who slapped me twice is uh, name is Saki Saki. Uh, sorry, Saki. So uh, <coughs> so let's uh, get on cracking. Uh, yeah, just a. Uh, search for Matsu Takako and uh, you'll get the video that I've done listing all her great songs uh, this one here Takako Matsu songs uh, yep it's a very enticing looking uh, thumbnail very very good uh, songs in the about section so so what about this single called uh, called Squall so the Squall is the 14th single by Japanese artist Masaharu Fukuyama. It was released on November 17th, 1999. It debuted at the number 2 position in Oricon. And blah blah blah. Yep, finish. So, uh, yes. Uh, oh, the guitar. So, uh, this one done already. So, this one, there is no like TV for the squall version of the original artist, the guy. Uh, uh, the guy, okay. The video guy thingy. What's his name already? Shit. Uh, this guy here. By the name of Fukuyama. Yeah, Fukuyama's uh, squall version, there's, there's no TV for it. So, you, can, you have to condemn with this uh, video here that features scenes from from uh, the perfect love J drama so this one here if you uh, listen to this one it comes with hiragana so you can sing to it as well so this portion of the squall uh, is different from the one by the girl singer in terms of uh, the sound or the pitch of the voice so uh, it's a very good song as well it's sang by this Fukuyama it's very emotional as well so there are two versions to this excellent song squall so there are a couple of uh, notable concerts by uh, Fukuyama, so you can check that one that one out, quite a lot. So yeah, uh, very good. And this one is a cover version of the Squall, this by this guy here. Don't know what's his name, and he's only sporting a guitar, a Spanish guitar. Very good effort indeed. And this guy here, who does not look that uh, well, he looks ordinary, but he has a uh, good piano skills and also a nice voice. So check this one out as well. So yeah, that's about it. Thank God, everything's done already. Actually, there's one more. Fuck, don't know where is it. Ah, this one here. Uh, another song by Fukuyama, which I think I like, is uh, Hatsu Koi. Hatsu Koi. Uh, yeah, Hatsu Koi, and it's very, very good. Very, very good. Ah, this is uh, Saki. The one who slapped me, twice. Thank you very much for the slap. Saki, thank you very much. So uh, yeah, that concludes my uh, video about Fukuyama Masaharu and uh, also about the excellent song called Squall. So do go and listen to this in the links below because it's going to touch you in your heart and every part of your body. So thank you very much Malaysia or wherever you're from. 
and these uh, I think it's going to be a regular feature to feature all of my adventures in New Zealand I'm not going to put it in the YouTube because fuck no thanks uh, the quality the quality of it is not so good it's VGA it's not full HD or HD this is back in 2000 and and uh, 2010 2011 so HD and full HD was not all the rich it was still very very uh, young in its, in its infancy so nowadays we uh, HD and full HD is uh, more common so yeah that, that's about it and uh, see you in Malaysia or wherever you're from and bye bye you do do I'm glad I've uh, gotten rid of this there are too many too many tabs is there anything interesting anymore I guess that's about it oops that, that's me so see you in Malaysia bye bye